what he's really saying is that his girlfriend has had surgery to become a man. No, that can't be right. Well, the song says that somebody told me that you had a boyfriend that looked like a girlfriend that I had in February of last year. See, it's saying that his girlfriend is now somebody's boyfriend. No, the song is obviously about rumors and how they get around. See, the singer likes a girl, but he won't ask her out because he found out that she has a boyfriend. Where do you get that from? It's obvious that... Whoa. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> but I want to. You should go talk to her. Yeah. Hey, no, I didn't talk to her. <laughs> Why not? She's hot. And you're mildly attractive in a schoolgirl curiosity <coughs> kind of way. Just go talk to her. I wouldn't even know what to say. How's this? You walk up to her and be like, Hey, you got a Band-Aid? And she'll be like, hee hee, why? And then you can be like, because I scraped my knee when I fell for you. And then she'll fall in love with you, you two can get married, have kids, the end. That's it? Th that's your life? Works every time. No, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Die alone if you want to. I'm not gonna talk to her. Why? Well, I mean, Look at her. Now look at me, it's like, I don't know, I can't really stand a chance with someone like that. <sighs> You're probably right on that. Gee, thanks. But you could be wrong, and you don't want to spend the rest of your life regretting this moment, regretting the might that could have been, the moment that that girl could have said yes to you. Well, shocking indeed. I know, it's like I'm Gandhi, except not Native American. Great Gandhi was in. They don't like being called that. It offends them. There she is, your Venus de Milo, your Mona Lisa, your Kim Kardashian. She's just sitting there waiting for you to come talk to her. Really? Because she looks like she's eating. Well, they're tricky like that. Women. They want to seem like they're preoccupied, with, like you catch them off guard or something. It's like hunting, but they want to be the prey. Uh, no, I don't know, man. Kev, but when have I ever steered you wrong? Well, right. Well, so go over there and talk to her, just like we practiced. You can even use that line we talked. Hey. Hi. Uh. Hey. <clears throat> Hi. So what's up? Nothing much. Nothing much at all. You? Uh, I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Yeah. So good. Uh, I was. I was actually walking over here to ask if you had a had a band-aid. Oh, um, no, I'm sorry, I don't I don't carry them on me. It, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um <clears throat> uh so, so I'm okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back over there. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, how'd it go, <laughs> slugger? <laughs> well, you know, just, we're gonna take it slow for right now. <laughs> what? Dude, did you even use that line I gave you? Listen, I tried the line, okay? But I guess we, we didn't account for reasonably notable inaccuracies in the pickup line. <laughs> eh, don't worry about her, man. She's a slob anyways. I mean, look at her. She's probably gonna be fat in a couple of years. Not gonna age well. <laughs> um... I can hear you. What's that? I said I can hear you. Nope. No, you can't. Yes, yes, I can. Well, it's probably for the best then. What? It's probably for the best then.
So how about just it? don't. You know, she gave me her number. 